Hello everyone, welcome to the Rolling Cloud Academy. I am Nutrix the Seth Guy, and today we're gonna do something really cool. If you don't know yet, some of the Roland hardware, like the MC707 or the 101 or the Jupiter XM or Xenology, the software itself, they're all compatible because they all use the Zencore engine. One cool thing about all that is you can actually make some sound on one of these devices or software and export them and import them into the other one. So there's this exchange of patches between that. So how does all of this work? Let's do that together. Let's say that you have a bunch of sound that you did create or modify in Xenology Pro and you wanna export that so you can continue working with your MC707. You know, whatever sound you decided to work with, you go right, then I suggest you create a bank. Like in this case, Nutrix Export Bank. And I select the memory space where I want to record it. And I go right. And it's going to be recorded here. So that's going to be saved in memory 11. So now I have 11 sounds that I pick, choose, modify, save to this bank. So I can actually take that bank and bring it somewhere else. If you look at the bottom of that window, you have import and export. I'm gonna take the export option and there's two choices. For plugin, basically you're gonna do a backup of the memory you have here. So you'd be able to re-import them using the import button later on or import them into another computer running Xenology Pro. You can also export to hardware or ZC1. Well, hardware, it needs to be a Zencore compatible synthesizer, that's for sure, or beatbox. And the ZC1 is the software version of a Zencore playback software synthesizer inside Zenbeats. That means it's gonna be running on iOS or, or Android OS. So that's pretty awesome. Be sure that what you export here are Z-Core, the Zencore compatible. If you have something else, it will not play into your MC-707, for example, because it is only Zencore compatible, not any other technology. So we go export. If you don't remember where to save this, if you try to load on the MC-707 and it's not existing, it tells you that the load sound has to be in the folder Roland slash sound. So on my MC-707 SD card and the Roland folder, I need to create here a sound folder. And in the sound folder, I will drop the export bank that I just did. Okay, now I can eject my SD card. Now that you have copied your sound onto your SD card. You put it in the back of the MC-707 and then you go into, actually come closer, you'll see it. So now if I want to load my sound off the SD card into the track, I have to select the track I want to use. So second one, if I play it, I am, I'm only listening to the second one, I'm gonna have a very simple bass line. Okay, so then I go into sound and I select sound file. Okay, with this, I run until sound file, enter, or I press on the knob itself. And it's gonna scan the, the SD card and I've got my Nutrix bank, enter, and then I've got the list of sounds. So I can move around the sounds here. And when I want one, I press it or I press enter and I can also move with this. So now if I play it, with a brass down. If you just go on it, it won't work. It has to press enter. Okay. We talked about the fact that you could exchange sounds between Xenology Pro to other type of Zencore compatible hardware devices. The Jupyter XM is one of them. So you can actually save it and export to this one. Now the MC-707 needs a SD card. The Roland Jupyter XM needs a USB disc. So you put your stuff on the disc, you put the disc at the back of the device and you go in and you can actually load this. Let's do this together. 
you have to go into menu and in menu you go into utility and you have import export enter I'm going to import the tone enter and I have to select this one because the first one is because there's a dot as it comes from the Mac computer but that's not a real file the Nutrix bank is the right one so I'm going to go select pressing the arrow wait a minute here are the 18 different patches that I have. I'm going to go import, execute. I'm going to click enter. So now we just have to wait. Import is complete. So after this is actually imported, you can use them. I'm going to exit this, exit. We're going to, I don't know, play any type of sound. You want to play that sound. If you want to play this and you want to select the one we want, I'm going to go again, menu, tone edit. Actually, no, I'm going to exit that. And then you have a choice of, of the model. And so I'm going to say, well, I want to have no assign. It's going to be any model possible. And then we are now at the V001. These are the one I just uploaded. Now you can take a sound and modify it. I'm just going to do something bizarre to it. Okay. So I modified the sound. I want to keep it. I can actually go into write. And I'm going to write this. Enter. I'm going to write it at uh, 37. Enter. And I'm going to trans synth. I'm going to just give it another. Transcend two, just so it's different. Enter, and it's going to be right. So now it's written into memory. I want to save this new sound that I modified into my USB disk so I can actually bring it into Xenology or another device. So I'm going to go into menu again, into Utility, enter, and it's going to be export, import, or import, export, and I want to export a tone. Enter, and I'm going to go look for my trans, trans synth 2, which should be at 30 something. There you go. This one here, trans synth 2. Export. Please select the user tone. Okay. Enter. Export. And it's going to be, yeah, that's perfect. Enter. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's actually take the sound we just did with Jupyter XM and import it into Xenology Pro. So you just open Xenology Pro and you go in the section where you have your name, you have the right button, you press on right. You will enter the user section basically because these are your space for you to save. So you're going to go in at the bottom and you've got import. And when you click import, it will send you to your computer. So what I see is my USB disk called the Jupyter X in it. I've got the Roland folder inside the Roland folder. I've got the sound folder and in the sound folder, I've got my JP tone, which is the last one I did export. I opened this one. It's a bank of one. I've got trans synth two. I'm good. I'm going to close this. If I go now to load a sound, I click on JP Tone and I've got Trans 2. Open it up. That's the sound I have. Remember that we talked about the fact that there was also a compatible Zen Core synthesizer within Zen Beats. And I mean any Zen Beats version. iPad, Mac, PC, Android, it exists in all of them. It's called the ZC1, which is a Zen Core playback synthesizer. You can play the preset. You have some control over it. I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. Very simple layout, very simple preset player if you want. You cannot create a sounds from scratch like you do in Xenology Pro. But what it means is this software runs the same engine as Xenology Pro or as the MC-707. So we should be able to run the same banks of sound we put on the disk and load that right in. How do we do that? Well, we need a, you know, a dongle to read it. You can actually use Google Drive. 
or another online drive. It's possible because the iOS supports these drive to be connected to the iPad or the iPhone, for example. You actually open your Google Drive. In my case, there's a folder called Zenbeats. In it, I create a folder called Sound. And I'm going to open Jupyter X USB disk. I've got the folder called Sounds. I'm going to take all my sounds, drop them into my folder in the Google Drive, wait for the import. So I have ZC1. And when I'm in it, if I want to load the sound I just imported into Google Drive, I go into Advanced Feature, Import, like I would do normally. But then I'm going to browse through until I get to Google Drive. And I have a drive that I named Zenbeats, of course. And in Zenbeats, I've got sound I just created. It could be anywhere else, but I just put it there. And I've got my Nutrix Banks here loaded in. And I've got these sounds now here. So now I can actually play that sound. Thank you for watching. Put your comments below.